think for a long time we thought that in order to end AIDS, we needed to have an effective vaccine. And while it's still very important to do the work to develop a vaccine, I think we have many of the tools that we need right now to have an AIDS-free generation. We just need the political will and the funding to implement those tools. I think treatment as prevention is, is the most important tool we have available to us now to get towards an AIDS-free generation. The, what we have learned as we've uh, implemented treatment in Vancouver and around British Columbia is that we can prevent transmission, not only from mother to child, but between sexual partners, uh, if we effectively treat people. With improved treatments that are simpler to take, we see people living longer, a near normal lifespan, and we now know that we can also prevent them from transmitting the virus to others if we can support them to remain on treatment. BC has been a pioneer and we've helped lead the way globally, and that's thanks in part to the tremendous leadership of Dr. Montaner. He has been able to translate the research into policy initiatives that have been adopted by our provincial government. So we need to thank the politicians for committing to the funding and for committing to the programs necessary to be a, a global leader. And then we have to thank the people on the ground who've implemented many of Dr. Montaner's ideas. In Vancouver, we've had a team that has fully embraced treatment as prevention, that have shown it's possible to offer routine HIV testing in acute care hospitals and in primary care clinics, to identify people that we never knew until now were HIV positive. And we know that with a, 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 an excellent treatment program at the BC Centre for Excellence in HIV AIDS that we can get people on treatment and keep them on treatment through the course of their lives.